Thank you very much. Yes, I'm, I'm Mike Walsh, and this is Pat Schaefer. We're co-founders of a not-for-profit startup called, well, our official name is the uh, New York Capital Region Data Management Professional Organization. Uh, we go by DEMA NYCR. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about ourselves. And over here, we have a, a sign-up booth, a list for those that are nice. You know that list, that what time of that year, we have to make sure they're in the right list. The right list is right over there. And we're going to uh, talk to you a little bit about DEMA and how we got here. So Pat and I have worked together for over 30 years. We're professional consultants. We deal with systems and integration and data. And over that period of time, uh, we came to understand that the people we deal with, the professionals, the data professionals we have, all had a common thread. They all tend to belong to a global community, a community of practice called DEMA International. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about that. So, I graduated in, uh, no, uh, no growing here, 1982, with a Master's of Science in Computer Modeling. And, you know, we didn't have that much data, but data has grown since then. And data has, since 2000, well, today it's grown 300 times the size of the data that it was in 2005. Today, there are 20 trillion gigabytes of data created every day, uh, every day, 20 trillion, and then in, uh, by 2020, there'll be 40 trillion pieces of data created, or gigabytes of data created every day. So the volume of data continues to grow. And then there's 19 billion network devices pushing data. You know, that's a lot different from 1982. We had none, but anyway, we have 19 billion pieces of network data, streaming data, so the velocity of data continues to grow. In addition to that, the variety of data. We have data, structured data, we have unstructured data, we have data from Pinterest, we have data from Google, we have data from um, you know, the videos, we have data from, from many different aspects, and you have to use all that data for marketing, you also have to combine it with structured data. So the variety of data continues to grow. And then you have the veracity of data. So, we deal a lot in the healthcare environment. When you go to an emergency room, you want to make sure that that data is good. The veracity of that data that the doctor's going to use to make his diagnosis and solutions on you in the emergency room is right. And you know, a lot of executives, uh, one out of three executives, believe that the data that they are making their decisions on, they don't have faith in. So you have to have the veracity of the data. And then, you know, I was talking to Jennifer from Manolza Common, and she mentioned the fact that she works with executive in visualizing what the answers are from data. So then there's data visualization. So anyway, to wrap up, is it very important today that organizations have data management professionals that can help them manage the data volume, the data velocity, the data variety, the data veracity, and the data visualization? In order to do that, how do they get that? How do you find that person? So our answer was that uh, we found that DEMA International, international community of people who are professional data managers for 20 years, this community has been out there, and they have chapters all around the world, and you get on their calls and you can see they're from all around the world. And we didn't have a, a chapter here in the capital region, so we created the New York Capital Region Data Management chapter of DEMA International. So that was the world solution. And uh, we created your local solution. So we are your local solution. We are your go-to place for data management professionals. So Pat and I love data. How many people here love data? How many, some people like data? Because if you come to our meetings, you'll like data, you'll love data. We love data, we love talking about data, we like analyzing data, data's a great fit. So you can see we have these organizations on this chart. And we've been having events. We're going to continue to have events. Pat's going to tell you about the next event we have. It's just a few blocks away. Uh, we have you know, free coffee and bagels. And um, we talk about data and your data problems and other things like that. So our mission is to provide this not-for-profit, you know, vendor agnostic, independent advice on data, education on data, networking on data. You know, it's just as important to understand what doesn't work as what does work. So we're not going to be pushing a solution per se, but we're going to tell you about the experiences, what's worked and what hasn't worked. 
And you know, nothing against the data vendors in the room, but you know, if you're selling hammers, then your solution is you know use nails. But we use a wide open vendor agnostic. We provide education, and we provide certification. And so, um, oh, they wanted to, me to talk about what's in it for you. So what's in it for you? So a lot of people look at NEMA. We asked, we surveyed NEMA members internationally, and we said, what's in it for you? They said, well, you know, I can solve problems quick. I don't waste time on things that don't work. I, I, based on best practices. And then we said, well, what else? And they said, well, you know, my credibility in my organization or with my customers, that's about 50% of this answer. So if you're a salesman or you're out there consultant, you get credibility with this accreditation of joining this company. And if you're in, a, in an organization, people recognize you as the go-to person who really understands what data is. And data can be very complicated, like I mentioned before. It's growing, it's exponentially growing. And of course, when people recognize you as being credible, and people recognize you as doing things with less time and doing it better, you generally have an increase in salary. So they see an increase in salary. So with that, I'm going to turn over to Pat. She's going to talk to you about promoting professionalism, getting educated, getting connected, and getting certified. Thanks, Mike. Uh, yes, we, uh, so part of DEMA International um, offers a certification, and we want to talk about that a little bit today. Certification itself is not, um, in, in its, uh, it's not the only goal of our organization, but it is a primary goal. Uh, there are four types of certification that one can have with DEMA International, all the way from associates to uh, practitioner fellows, um, based on your education, based on uh, some uh, taking of some exams, um, based on your numbers of years of experience. Um, on our website, we have a chart that tells you which exam uh, you might you might fall into, uh, based on your experience, your education level, and the types of exams you're taking. Um, it's similar to uh, PMBOK. If you're familiar with the Project Management Institute, there's a data management body of knowledge, Mike has it over here, uh, that you used to study for this exam. Um, and in all of the areas that we have talked about, uh, when we showed the data. We so, certification process starts with an IS core exam and then a data management core exam, um, and then specialty exams based on the name of wheel that Mike had showed, all of the tenets of data management, data quality, data transformation, data visualization, your experience and your qualifications levels, and then your signing the code of ethics and uh, performing the certification. I might have taken too much time, I have to push it. Okay. So we, we have a website, it's just uh, right up here, the www.dama-nyrc.org, um, where we are publishing our events and um, a, a startup. We are really asking for membership and some help starting up our organization. Um, it's taken a long time to get involved with the 501c3 and the international organization, but we feel like now we've got the foundation and we're time to, to hold our meetings and get our certifications and become uh, a real organization. So. This is a part of our site. We've had some uh, previous sessions with State and in New York and some other sessions, and we're going to be having one next week at Ignite U, I think it's 33, 33, 33 Broadway, at 8.30 in the morning on Wednesday, a week from today. Um, so in summary, we started in 2015. We launched our small business plan. Um, we are now looking at 2017 as to be really place where we launch not only the organization but our, our exams which we will proctor in the in the spring time. Yeah, well thank you very much for uh, so our ask all these startups everybody has an ask our ask is basically we want to let me go back here. We want we want to look for event host people that want to host a data event, people who want to present at one of our data events people who want to become members. We have pre-membership for 2017 as we build our organization. And uh, we'd like some interns for the summer to help us build out the work. So thank you very much. Any questions? Uh, the question was, are they proctored or are they online? They're both proctored and online. So we just make sure that it's 
an open and honest uh, test and that you're the person and that you don't have two laptops up Googling one answer and answering the other. But other than that, it's all good. And you know, there's many different experiences part of it. 